Good afternoon, YouTubers. My name is Nubia. I am in recovery. Let's stay right there. See the halo around my my head. I don't know why. It's just it's just it's just what happens. <laughs> I'm kidding. Today is Thursday, December seventh. Um, uh, I am reading out of our daily bread devotional all the way from Anoka, Minnesota. Thursday, December 7th. Romans chapter eight, uh, chapter 12, verses 1 through 3. Well, Big Boy is not here because he's in the house. I let him in the house, so he's taking a nap. I was going to let him in the house after the fact, but... He just wanted to go in the house. He drank some water and he went to a cushion that is usually Spooky's cushion, my other cat. So I hope she's not fighting him for him right now, but I have to let them be because God is taking care of my cats as well as my kids. Romans 12, 1 to 3. Offer your bodies as living sacrifice, holy and pleasing to God, giving like Christ. Hmm. When American author O. Henry wrote his beloved Christmas story, The Gift of the Magi, he was struggling to rebound from personal troubles. Still, he penned an inspiring story that highlights a beautiful Christ-like character trait, sacrifice. In the story, an impoverished wife sells her beautiful long hair on Christmas Eve to buy a gold pocket watch chain for her husband as she learns later however her husband has sold his pocket watch to buy a set of combs for her beautiful hair uh. their greatest gift to each other sacrifice from each the gesture showed great love in that way the story represents the loving gifts the gam the magi wise men gave to the Christ child after his holy birth. More than those gifts, however, the child Jesus will grow up and one day give his life for the whole world. In our daily lives, believers in Christ can delight his great gift by offering to others the sacrifice of our time, treasures, and a temperament that all speak of love. As the Apostle Paul wrote, I urge you, brothers and sisters, in view of God's mercy, to offer your bodies as living sacrifice, holy and pleasing to God. There's no better gift than sacrificing for others through Jesus' love. Patricia Rayborn. Thank you, Patricia. Okay, what this reads to me, giving my body as living sacrifice, to me, it screams out fasting. It screams out that I can sacrifice just for today during the day, no drinking, no eating, during the time the sun is up, so that I can show my creator, so I can show my savior, how much I am grateful for his sacrifice, so I am willing to sacrifice my body. Um, that also means not going after carnal thoughts, or, you know, uh, wishes you know uh, saving myself for marriage you know um, not eating bloody stuff you know and I, I am I'm gonna have to start making my steak <sighs> you know well done because I, I used to like a medium rare now I can't anymore so whenever I order steak again it's gonna be well done I am um, Another way of sacrificing my body is to actually study the word. Just sit there physically and study the word. And, and at least for one hour a day. I've been trying, I've been doing that. And, and I don't just going from verse, uh, like I go to the back, then the front. No, I started from the beginning and I'm almost done with Ezekiel. No, I'm on like the second half of Ezekiel. And I'm gonna go all the way to the end. And it's I've read the, from the Bible before, but I've never read it from front to back. And it does something different. 
and fasting for me it make it gets me it makes me feel closer to god and when two three o'clock comes like right now not yet but two three o'clock comes and i i want to go drink something i want to eat something and it's like no how how can i i already i'm making a sacrifice i'm giving him my sacrifice i'm giving him my body a sacrifice and um and that just it, it makes me feel happy it just makes me feel happy i imagine how happy he felt when he gave his body for us when he died for us he must have he was imagine that so giving like christ i can only try what sacrificial gift have you received from someone that showed christ's love my landlord last night so my landlord works 12 hours he does tiles so it's kind of like construction he um, came home at whatever time last night not my home but he came straight to to fix his car my car the car he's letting me use which is his car and we have the garbage truck but that's okay because today is Thursday today is garbage day and he was there till like 9 30 last night something to do with the piece not fitting right and it should because he's a master mechanic and guess what he had to be at work at 5 a.m this morning and he worked yesterday and when he's done working he's gonna come finish it up that's a huge sacrifice i'm like hey can i get you anything you some water can i rub your back and he's like no, I just gotta get this in here. It's just not working. God damn it. And he starts cursing and shit, but he's just, you know, I guess my mom has sacrificed a lot for me. Yeah. What sacrificial gift can you give to others in return? <laughs> my kids. I have sacrificed being with them. Even though it's for the best, it's like a huge sacrifice. Mm -hmm. But that's okay because they are right where they need to be and they are doing amazing and they wouldn't be if they were with me. So, thank you God for allowing me to, for being able to make, to give the gift of sacrifice, sacrificial love to my kids please allow me to do the same for other people and allow me to receive the sacrificial gift of love from other people because it's hard sometimes for me to be oh no that's too much you don't have to go out of your way to do that for me you know what maybe they feel like they have to and that's okay because they need that like my my landlord so amen in my daily life, dear God, may I show others Jesus by sacrificing my needs for theirs. Ooh, good one. Amen. Thank you guys for tuning in. Wow, I just love that. I, I can play with that the whole day. I ate the sun. I threw it up. <laughs> Have a good day, you guys. Thank you. I hope you have a wonderful rest and blessed, blessed rest of your day. <laughs> and I'll see you tomorrow.